Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we've got a fun little one. So I was watching the Netflix, uh, still watching Netflix series featuring the Corridor Crew, both great channels. Check them out. Uh, I will link the video I'm borrowing in the description below. Uh, but there is a mic drop in here, uh, a little moment where the mic dips down. And in this kind of documentary series, that's not too big of a deal. It is a little distracting, though. A lot of times people will just rather, if they decide to use that shot, they'll try to remove the mic in the frame just to be less distracting. Right here, the camera's moving and everything. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to find the moment that the mic comes in the frame is right here. And it kind of bobs in a few times. So uh, with this blue sky, we can easily grab some more blue sky and just very 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 simply just make that go away uh, and so there's actually probably a couple different ways we can do it so the first thing that we'll try is let's just let's just go ahead and mark this shot right here so we'll start the region right here where the mic comes in and we'll go through until the moment it leaves which is really just through to the end of the shot so this is everything we need to worry about so anything up here is fair game as far as the sky goes and so really about right here is the exact same sky uh, so what we can do is take this cut it up right here borrow it uh, and then we could even if you didn't want this cut up you could heal the frame in a number of different ways but so now that cuts gone but we have a duplicate here we're gonna hit control shift Q create a new track and we're going to um, easily get rid of the audio here too by just going to ignore event groupings select the audio and hit delete and go back to ignore event groupings um, then we got this little chiseled out piece right here let's cut it out so uh, first off this shot isn't long enough we can make it long enough to now fill it uh, you'll see the shot if you fade it down uh, it's a pretty similar shot we're in a pretty similar location and the sky is the exact same color so this is going to be amazingly easy we're just going to go to video effects Bezier mask we're going to grab a circle mask boom drop it right here on the Bezier mask and then just slide it up into the sky now one thing I do want to do is add a little bit of feather to the mask. The mask one, this is a singular mask, so there's only one mask, so mask one, which is noble. Um, we're just gonna add just a little bit of feather. And I'll bring it down and show you what the feather does. The feather lets this kind of bleed off slowly. Let's uh, add a little less feather. But that way, if there is a light value difference in the sky, it'll be really, really, really subtle. And we just make sure that the feathering doesn't cut off his head here. So let's watch it back. There we go, the mic is gone. Some other quick notes. Uh, let's say a paint out's not so easy. Well, um, you can actually, there's all sorts of ways you can get creative. You can give it a try. Sometimes it works way better than you imagine it would, even with a, like a brick textured background or something. Uh, you might be able to use some motion tracking, which I have tutorials about, to help that uh, stabilize if the camera's moving and uh, the patching patchwork moves too. Uh, so there's all sorts of methods. I want to leave you with another quick and simple one if in case you came to this tutorial hoping that it would fix it but my, that particular method didn't work. Um, you can go to your event cram pop crop here, punch in, and uh, when you punch in you can just kind of reframe the shot a little bit. Uh, and you know punch in as little as possible to try to keep as much pixels but it doesn't take much to uh, really hide that mic dip there. So that's a second option for you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. I hope this video helped you out. We have all sorts of videos here, complicated tutorials, simple tutorials, beginner tutorials uh, for all different versions of Vegas software. More videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.